the gospel, okay, no matter what, every, what walk of everyone, life, that's the gospel. Gonna and be you are trying to preach, you don't even know what you're preaching. All right. You do not know what you're preaching. You're just standing out here with this, 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 and this. You do not even know the gospel. Right, right. I know the gospel, and you're trying to preach it, and you do not oh, even know you could, it. Because you can preach. You can preach. Of course, you can preach. Yeah, I'll preach. Every person. All no right, ma- okay, all every right. Every person, no matter what walk of life, are the same. Whether you're rich or you're poor, or you're poorly, or you're good, no matter what, every person will be judged. On judgment day, when they die, as the same. No matter what, if they've got hundred pounds in their pocket or whether they've got nothing in their pocket, every person will be judged the same. Alright, you're gonna have every a, you're gonna person. get you're gonna get a can, yeah? You see, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get a I'll, I'll, Okay, I'll you get you get you got a can, man, you get a can. Yeah. Alright, you take care, man. Teach the gospel, treat you right, yeah. I, I, I okay. so Fucking hell, that was expensive. All right, back to um, back in the script, back, back, back within the book of Habakkuk, second chapter. Dude has spirits on him, man. <laughs> right, was back in the book of Habakkuk, the seventh, uh, the second chapter, on the seventh verse. It says, uh, "Shall they not take? Shall not? Shall they not raise up against thee that shall bite thee, and I shall, um, and I shall, uh, that shall awake and, and shall vex thee? Shall they not be for boots?" Because thou hast spoiled many nations. So the judgment that's gone before Esau and his empire, okay, is that he's going to become for boots, man, for spoil. Okay, you're going to have everybody take, well, really, the, Jake's going to be taking his, his wealth, man. Because we're going to be the in it. We're going we're gonna to be the next thing, okay? We're going to be the, the next uh, uh, superpower, so you can understand. All right, so here the scripture says, and it says, uh, because thou hast spoiled many nations, right, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city right and of all them that dwell therein so you're talking about how Esau okay has enlarged his borders as hell all right he's raped robbed and murdered taking all of the riches of the world to himself whether it be diamonds oil okay he's just taking all of that right getting all all types of W's okay getting all types of wins and the judgment that's going to come about with him it's gonna be a great judgment because he hasn't righteously taken those things, man. Okay, he's unrighteously, uh, he's done that unrighteously. He's done that wicked. So the Most High is gonna do a thing where with all of them things that he's acquired, they're gonna flow away. The book of Job, the 20th chapter goes into the how that his riches, that he, that which he has labored for shall he restore. Okay, his riches, gonna, they're gonna, he's gonna flow away from that, man. Okay, so let's carry on with this. It says, um, because thou hast spoke many nations and all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and all that dwell therein. So that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much it, all I wanted on that. So now I'm going to go to the book of track, go through this uh, topic that I wanted to go into, right, within the book of Ezekiel, the 34th chapter maybe. Okay, which is going to bring about the final uh, 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 nail on the coffin so you can understand um, of Esau's uh, realm, of Esau's rule. Okay, because we're... We're at the end of Esau's rule. Okay? I'm going to try to knock this back as quickly. There's a little limited time. So we're at the end of Esau's rule. Okay? And this scripture goes into um, some of the things that's going to be happening out uh, there between the media, uh, between uh, Esau, okay? And, um, uh, which is which, uh, really between Esau, because the scripture says that uh, he's, he's a house divided that missed itself. Okay, and one of the things that's gonna happen is that it's gonna um, it's, it's it, you know the 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 Russians are gonna move up against the Americans and it's gonna be hell on hot wheels for a hell of a lot of people out here. Okay, um, so let me go into this. this is the book of um, Ezekiel the thirty fifth chapter. Okay, now and I'll, I'll get the scriptures that are associated to it. So it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man. So set, set thy uh, mountain against, uh, set thy face against Mount Seir, right, and prophesy against it. So we go into the history, find out uh, um, Aunt Isaac was born, Jacob and Esau, okay? Jacob went one way, Esau went uh, out the uh, other way, and I believe he took over um, Seir. And if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, but if I'm not mistaken, there was a, um, there was a, a, a certain, was it Hamite? Forget what far, what line he comes off, but I believe it was a high man, and his 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 name was Sir, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? 
Okay, and then uh, Esau, when he went up into that land, he took up on the name of that, and he expounded upon his bo uh, borders, okay? So it says there, um, and thus, uh, say unto it, thus saith the Lord, Behold, O Mount Seir, which is talking about Esau, that is, I am against thee, and I'll stretch out my hand against thee, and I'll make thee most desolate. Okay, so just like we saw in the book of Malachi, the first chapter, we see within the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, all of these scriptures alike, it's all dealing with one central theme, okay? Two central themes, if you will. Right, which is really one, salvation unto the 12 tribes of Israel. But even though they went off from the Lord's that's commandments to the Most High, the Most High was still going to have mercy upon them, yeah, okay? And the destruction coming about on Esau, okay? The house of Eden. It says, um, I am a, and I am against thee, and will stretch out my hand against thee, and I'll make thee most desolate, right? And I'll lay uh, his city's waste, and uh, 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 that thou shalt be desolate, and that thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Okay. So when in, the, in this in this event, see so here's the thing: when you read the scriptures, right? When you reading the scriptures in the book of Obadiah, is telling you that what that Esau is so proud, he wants to magnify himself as the Most High. But see, when the Most High puts his puts an end to his um to his advancements, he's to an end to his uh, um to his uh, expeditions, if you will. Okay. That's gonna have a thing where. Esau is going to realize, wait, hold on a minute, there is a heavenly power. Hey, hold on a minute, there is things that I have no control over. Because right now he thinks he's in control of everything that's happening upon the earth. That's why he wants to put cameras all over the place. All right? That's why he wants to monitor everything, every transaction. Okay, every, 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 every internet site you go on to, Esau wants to monitor. Okay, he wants to control all of these things. Because when you really read and understand the blessing that was gone before Jacob, that's what Jacob's going to be able to really do. But we ain't going to do it on a carnal sense. We're going to do it on a spiritual sense. We're going to know what people are doing. Okay? In other words, you're going to be able to decipher if a man did a, 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 a wickedness. Okay? Oh, like you, oh, you committed adultery. Okay, here's the punishment of that. Now, you might interrogate the individual. Okay? See if he's going to come up straight up with it. And when he comes up straight up with it, give him the, the judgment. But the Lord was the same way. He knew what all of these individuals, what wickedness they was committing. Okay, because he had this foresight for that. Now, what Esau wants to do, he wants to do the same thing on the carnal side, because he sees himself as a god, and even more so as the Most High himself. But see, when the judgment comes about, as the Scripture says there, okay, right, you're gonna know that it's the Lord that brought the, the, the judgment that are upon you. The fifth verse, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and it's been a perpetual hatred against the twelve tribes of Israel, the Negroes, the Hispanics, Native American. See, here it is. You got these Christian uh, organizations out there. They all they talk about is how the Gentiles are the same as the Israelites, and they're gonna have the same judgment. They're gonna have the same portion. But when it comes to slavery and shedding blood, where's all of that mercy? Okay, this idea of the Messiah having in, encompassing uh, uh, in the Gentiles is not a, a new thing. That goes uh, back onto the 1600s when they had Jake's in slavery, man. Okay, here it is. They was out there quoting scriptures and missed themselves. You see that on 12 years of slave. The guy is giving a sermon and Mr. all those people is talking about all of this mercy and salvation. But he's got you underneath the, 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 the sole of his foot. And that's how Esau moves about. Okay, he's inclusive when he's trying to get a piece of your heritage, man. And once he's got that piece of your heritage, all of a sudden he's, he's the most exclusive there person upon the face of the planet. You take out how these uh, so-called Jews move. Okay, now they got the land of Israel. They don't want nobody up in there, even though it's not their own land. That's what the Palestinians out there, they're putting all types of hell upon them uh, so-called Jews out there. Because they ain't the people of the most side. Okay, so let's go back onto the scripture here. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and thou hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. That's why this judgment's going to come about. That's the main thing, man. As the scripture said within the book of Revelations, the... I want to say the 13th chapter. I want to say that, but I can't remember. Okay, it says, He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's the judgment. Here's the patient, faith and the patience of the saint. The judgment, the people that shed blood, their blood's going to be shed. That's how the most high works, man. Okay? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, thou hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time of their iniquity had an end. So beyond that, when the judgment came, boom. Okay, you read about the history of the um, the Babylonians, how they took down Jake. When they took down Jake after a certain amount of period of time, you had it to where the, the top guy within the, uh, within the line of Babylon was the Israelite. That's to say, they came a point when that judgment stopped. They took down the nation of Israel. Okay, they would have had them as slaves. But over a period of time, a short period of time, they was everyone was on. Uh, 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 um, it was it wasn't it wasn't hardcore captivity, so you can understand. But for three four hundred years, right up until the point now we're in, Esau still putting hella hell on Jake, man. 
Now you have institutionalized slavery. Okay? You go to where you go, uh, 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 um, they talk about segregation. You go, you go social uh, segregation now, man. Okay? Because Esau, whoever he comes out with over his mouth talking about equality and everybody being a Gentile and everyone receiving mercy, he don't give a damn about the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, the Israelites. That's why the scripture says what it says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred against the, the children of Israel, and because thou hast shed the blood of Israel, this judgment is going to come about upon you. And once the judgment that it says, that shall become most desolate. All right, most desolate. Okay? It says, uh, this is the sixth verse. It says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, all right, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. And that preparation comes about by way of what? By way of this financial system crumbling. When you get bringing about the preparation of, 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 of calamities, you're going to do certain things, man. Right? When the calamities are coming forth, you're going to do certain things. Now, when you're talking about the calamities that's gone before this B system, all well, this B system is relying upon this economy. So you're going to crash the economy for them. But here it is, you got it to where Esau's thinking that he's controlling all of these things and he's going to have it to where he's going to flip the button and the economy's going to crash at this point by where these so called elite banking families. But really, it's the more side that's doing that. That's what's going to bring about a lot of calamities, that financial crash coming, man. Okay? That's going to bring about a lot of calamities. Debt ceilings all over the different places. Countries in trillions and trillions worth of dollars in debt. That's going to bring about a lot of calamities. And it seems like everybody's in debt. Where's all of this money coming from? You hear it is you, they'll, they'll have you believe that United States is, has got 20 trillions out there to the Chinese, but the Chinese is in debt to the Americans. <laughs> but who's, who's really owns this debt? Goes back onto them elite banking families and they need that crash to come, all right? Right, they're gonna orchestrate this crash so that they can have this uh, chip coming out there. But see, what they don't understand is they're gonna be involved, or they're controlling all of these different things. They're gonna be uh, the most is gonna take them out of the controlling seat and bring them, uh, bring the same judgment that they put out for everybody upon themselves too. Okay, so it says that on um in the, in, in in the sixth verse, it says, "Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee." Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay, the thou thus saith, uh, thus I will make Mount say most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out and returneth. And I will fill his mountains and his slain, right in, in the hills and the valleys and the rivers, and they shall fall that are slain of the sword. And I'll make perpetual desolation, and thy cities shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So when these cities are Esau that is built out here within the America, out there in America, in all of these places, when the Lord brings about that destruction, they, it, it's just gonna be a wasteland. And you're gonna you're gonna know it's the Lord, man. You're gonna know it's the Lord. Here it is, you are you're, you feel like you're controlling and but the more side you the the, 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 the the wicked are taking in the are taking in their own craftiness. Okay? You believe that you're beyond the, the control of the more side. Ain't nobody beyond the control of the more side. The more side set a device, uh, the more side set it up that you're gonna be taking in your own craftiness. That's the game that the Lord's playing. Okay? So here within the book of um Ezekiel the 35th chapter. Um, and the 10th verse it says, And because thou hast uh, said to these two nations, uh, the, 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 uh, the Israelites, and the, uh, um, or the house of Israel and the house of Judah, okay, these two nations, these two countries shall be mine, and I'll possess it where, it's the Lord, uh, where the Lord was there. He says, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, right, the more I will even do um, according to thine anger and according to thy envy, that thou hast uh, used it against the hatred against. Them. So here it is, Esau came up a, a certain type of way against the Israelites, the Mosai is going to return the same thing on, onto his head. And I'll make my, uh, I'll make my known, myself known among them uh, when I, I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And he keeps on saying that because here it is, you go into it, Esau says he, he thinks that he is the Mosai. But the Mosai is going to remind Esau that he is the Mosai, he is the power. Okay? And they shall know that I am the Lord and, I, and, and I've heard all the blasphemies, right, which thou hast spoken. Right against the mountains of Israel, saying they shall uh, they are uh, they are laid desolate, and they are given unto us to consume. And that's what they've done out there within the land of Israel. They've just taken whatever they want. But the Lord's gonna bring about judgment anyway. Okay. So um, here it is. We have the 13th verse. It says, "Thus with your with your mouth you boasted against me." Right, the Mosai. They boasted against the Mosai. They boasted against the creatures the Mosai has created. They've gone out there putting GMOs and all of this stuff. They boasted against the Mosai. Okay, and I've multiplied your words against me. I've heard them. Okay, so here it is, you have some Edomites, when they believe in the more side, they believe in the more side that is just all encompassing, it's gonna have mercy upon it. And then you got the vast majority of Edomites that are really, I mean really Edomites, they don't believe in the more side. Okay, 
but they'll have the whole religious thing in there just as a as a personality type thing okay but really only the Israelites really believe in the vibration of this world that's why it's so easy to tell out an Israelite man okay but here it is, you, say, the, the, you know, they, you, go, you go Esau blaspheming against the Mosai. The Mosai he, here is that blaspheming, man. The Mosai hears all of them things, okay? And as a result, you're going to receive judgment. So it says, Thus saith the, uh, thus saith the Lord, when the whole earth rejoiceth, uh, uh, I'll make thee desolate. <laughs> so here it is, uh, uh, um, the Mosai is going uh, to return, okay? He's going to have all of these things play out with the World War III and destruction, etc., etc. And then ultimately you're going to have the 12 tribes of Israel set up on high as the new superpower. But here it is, after a period of a thousand years of having Ammon and Moab and all of these different nations, Ishmael in, in, in slavery, they're going to have a period, they're going to be allowed to continue. Obviously with our, underneath our rulership, but they're going to be allowed to continue. They're going to be rejoicing because the wicked is not going to be no more. But the, 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 you're, going to be laid, you're going to be laid desolate. You're going to be no more. You're going to be non-existent. Okay? And says, Thou uh, didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee, and thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Sea, and all, all I do me, do me, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Okay? So pretty much with that, say double honesty, apostle, great millstone. Okay? Honesty, brothers, I'll be pushing this truth in sincerity. I cut myself there. Right? Honesty, brothers, I'll be pushing this truth in sincerity. Alright? And uh, Lord's will, I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.